this note, let me just welcome you guys to Social View, the place you can get your daily fix of the fun and craziness going on in the world of social media, okay? Honey pot, can we go? Okay, so let's start with this one. Honey pot, I have a question for you. Yeah? Forget maturity. Do you still fear fowl that has children? Uh-uh. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no fear them. Ah. Have you seen some turkeys before? Hey! Turkey. Without provocation, eh? They will be chasing you like the Tolo Tolo. Have, ah. have they chased you before? <laughs> <laughs> have they chased you before? Hmm. Who will not fear? Because, I mean, there is nothing like hmm. protecting your children. And ah. you can even see it in animals. They don't want anybody to come. Have you even seen where that bird that carries uh, 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 children from the chicks from the mother, the mother hen? Uh, yeah, have, the have you seen where? It's not an eagle, actually. Which apparently, one? there is a bird. I've the, forgotten the name now, okay, but it is not. The hawk? Perhaps. It's not an eagle. Uh, an eagle, okay. Do we see eagles like that? Mm. Uh, have you seen mm. some of these mother hens? They will fly. They will like, fly, yes. Uh, they would go after. Are see, you joking? So that's the thing with yep. mother hens. That's why they say, I'm protecting my children like a mother hen. Uh, because the mother hen would put the other one somewhere, run after you I'm to get that you. one. I'm telling you. Ha, it's crazy. Let's move on, I beg. So this is a chat between two people, and then the first one says, hey, want to buy honey? And he puts the picture of the jars of honey. And then the person that wants to buy says, how do I know it's real? And then he sends a picture of his face. Apparently, while he was trying to get the honey, the bees have stung him. I'm so sorry. So his face is as fat as a I'm pig's so face. So it's his real it's and, then, and then the person responds saying, OK, I'll take three bottles. Like, I don't see evidence. No, please buy like 10 from him. <laughs> You cannot go through this stress. Man! Buy like 10. Keep some in the house. Give some people some, please. Because what? So, are you joking? So I understand that there are people that, yes, they have bee before? farms. See, I understand that there are people that have farms where they harvest the honey. But there are those that go into the wild. I think we've, we've taken a video here, it's Kit here, of someone who the honeycomb fell on him and... By the time he See, stood up, his face. So I don't know what you came to look for in my house one time. Eh? Yeah, I grew up, so uh, I don't know. So we had um, this apple tree. We had, um, you know, so I don't mm -hmm. know what attracted them. Eh. But they came and they were in a part of the ceiling. Uh, there were so many eh. that one day, like that, as they came out. So my, my father was always using a technique to, like, chase them away and mm -hmm. all that. So they, they came out. Nobody was at home. He told me twice, twice, like... That thing is not easy. It's not. You will have a headache it is not. instantly. The thing will do you Go straight to your brain. Hmm. Hmm. So talking about mother hands or protecting mothers, let's take this one. This is between a toddler and his dad. The toddler says, sugar ice cream. That says what? The toddler says, sugar ice cream. The dad says, what? And then the mom from the other room says, it won't say you got. Okay. So it's the way mothers understand their babies. I they know understand why the language. Catherine is. can even go like that, and it is like it's making sense what she's saying. Because I don't know if it was me that they put it. It's <laughs> <sugar, laughs> like a girl. No, because Catherine is very good with babies. And I'm, has I'm way with, my babies yeah. are too. So, uh, <laughs> honey food. So the thing with children sometimes is listen to the last word. So, girt. So, the girt. I want you girt. Better start learning from her. <laughs> <laughs> if it's that they learn, no, and they learn walk. Oh. So we can see this guy enjoying his life. And he says, My girlfriend stole her mother's money for me to start a business. Now I'm rich. She wants me to marry her. I can't marry a thief. Sorry. Wow. Yeah. Hmm. So it goes to say that. Hmm. Don't even do any like it's it's mm. it's I don't know, it's mm. awkward. How would you do that and you expect that the person is just like somebody going into prostitution ah. and saying that you are using it to send your boyfriend your, to, school. to school? He will not marry her at the end at of all. Day, my love. He will say, what, do what do I want to do with I'm Don't Anima do Shao? Don't nah. Do Don't do it. Nah, Don't you're just it. shooting yourself in the leg. Don't do it. Don't do it for anybody. <laughs> anybody. All right, let's take this last one before we go. We see the meme king and it says, they say the world is ending. You the price land. Hmm. Bros, buy food stuff and get energy. Oh, devil flog past mass teacher. Oh, interesting. You so, feel up? 
from Sikonsa. This thing is just very uh, dicey hmm. in a way. Okay. So this morning, we're actually talking about banks, how banks have been taking money and all those hmm. things. And I thought about something scary, something that has always been on my mind. And then I was telling Amaka of your view that, uh, how about the people that have died and the bankers knew and then they just, you know, so swallowed the money their money like that. that. I'm like, so I just thought about, I said, if those people knew, they should have just been buying Bogabi, eating anything with their, if they knew that they were going to die like that and their money was just going to go to somebody, a stranger. In fact, buy the latest car. And guess what? <sighs> I used to see one Hala. billboard on Lagos Ibadan Express, where anytime I was going to a doctor that year, I would say, don't eat away your future. Uh, <laughs> uh, they would say, don't mm. eat away your future, you should buy land. And I'm like, hmm, it can be very dicey. It can be. And then again, uh, I used to have a colleague here who would tell me that, honey, for any time I grab my salary, I first of all take myself out. And I'm like, ah. That's that sounds I good. Like, That's what about I take do. yourself out? Hmm. <laughs> because you cannot be working and you will not be reaping the fruit of your labor. We understand. <laughs> no, only part. We understand that there are bills. Mm. But you should also take yourself out, enjoy part of your money, you know. So that at the end of the month, when you are calculating, what do I do with money? Say, ah, I enjoyed my money. Mm. Not that, oh, I paid for this, paid for that, and then you start looking for what you did. So it's good to enjoy your money. You. At the end of the day, we shall all reap the fruit of our labor in Amen. Jesus' name. Amen. And on that note, we're done with social media work today and this week. And we hope you enjoyed every bit of the craziness. We will be back with our guests, so stay tuned, guys.